changing your status part two. It's important to be able to add status notes so that you can let others know where you are and then you also know where others are. So I'll show you how to do that today. Currently my status shows that I'm available at the top of my screen and to the left it shows the time. If I want to change my status, such as I've got to go to a meeting, I can choose my drop down arrow and choose in a meeting. I'm going to go ahead and make this a fast status button as well. I'm going to go ahead and choose in meeting. Automatically my status now changes to in a meeting at the top of my status bar. It also pulls forward in my company directory under my name, instructor, and shows the status in a meeting that's reflected. Well, I want to know where, where is the meeting located. If I was a coworker trying to find out where I was located, they could see by looking at my status column. Since I just changed my status to showing I'm in a meeting, I want to go ahead and put in the details. Up at the top, to the right of in a meeting, I have my set, set status details. I can add my status note so that someone, if they were looking for me, they'd know where I was located. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm in conference room B. How long am I going to be there? I'm going to go ahead and say I'll be there until, I'll go ahead and put in the time of 1.30. So I'm going to go ahead and double check, 1.30 p.m. What is the date? I could also put that in if I select a date by selecting the date box. I could change the date if needed. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to the default. So now if anybody was looking for me, they'd know I'm in, in a meeting in conference room B on today's date at 1 until 1.30 today. Well, if I look at the bottom of my screen at the company directory, it shows that I, I'm the instructor. That's me. I'm in a meeting and until when? So what I wanted to go ahead and do is add in some new columns. I can do so by right clicking, choosing status columns at the very bottom, adding that until that I was just talking about. So I can see that I'm in a meeting today until 1.30. I could also add some more columns by going to the status columns, such as status notes. And you can see that I'm in conference room B. Same information that I just added at the top of my screen in my status toolbar. You may be thinking, okay, Alyssa, you've shown me how do you add these different columns, but how can I delete columns if I don't want all of that listed in my company directory? How I could do so is right click again, and I go down to status columns, and I could uncheck one of the items that I'd previously selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose status notes, and it automatically takes that column away for me. Next, I want to go ahead and show you how we search for someone within the company directory. You can see that I utilized our filters at the top, searching for the name instructor. I could also search for a different name. I typed in the letters AL, and I'm able to find two people within our company directory named Albert King and Alexander Bell. I can see their extension number, their department, their status how long they'd be in that status, or their time in the status. So just a great way to be able to find out more information about someone. If someone happened to be in a meeting and I want to get a hold of them, I can automatically find out when they'll be available next. If I want to continue to search for people, I can go ahead and backspace out on my filter that I put in. And here is again the list of everybody within the, listed within the company directory. It allows me to be able to scroll through and see the other statuses of other people within my company. This has been a just-in-time short on changing your status part two. Thank you.